Right, so with me is Dr. Crystal Benjamin. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Hello, Lisa. Dr. So Dr. good to meet you in person. Absolutely, because we've been doing Skypes from yes, time to time. Yes. Yeah. So it's carnival, and we thought that we will talk a bit about, you know, those one night stands. So people are out there. It's the time of the season where the music has you going and all of that. And uh, what does that do to people? Oh my goodness. So you're touching several different mm -hmm. topics there, right? So there's the first thing, the, the one night stands. So I did a quick poll on my Instagram and asked persons about carnival and relationships. And someone actually said that people break up during this time so that they can do whatever they want, they could engage in whatever behavior they want what to. What do you mean, like consciously break up? Consciously break up around this like time. Like give each other a pass? Yes. My word. Wow. So that they can engage in whatever behavior they want to with whoever they want to. And so that also lends itself to possibly one night stand. Then we get into the music, right? That's telling you, for example, um, what's his name? Blacks. Telling you, you know, woman want a partner. When you listen to the lyrics of these songs, it's promoting a certain lifestyle. And so, yeah, it's really interesting. And um, in terms of on the psyche of the person, you know, sometimes you say, I give you a pass, but when something really happens, then you have to deal with the consequences in the relationship. Exactly. And so it's important around this time to have a conversation with your partner and know what is appropriate and what is not, and really be open for the conversation. Some persons are good with whining, some persons are not. They're, some persons are good if we're not married, but when we're married, you can't whine on someone else. Have the conversation about what's appropriate and be very specific about what you're okay with, and be honest. And you know, uh, to be speaking about relationships, and what can happen is that, yes, we give each other a pass, but six months later, you come back because you really didn't give a pass in your mind, and it comes up in a conversation or in a conflict with that person. Exactly, that's the thing, because people are being like honest. I've experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, I don't wonder. <laughs> but seriously, it's something that people aren't being authentic about their experience. We need to understand that persons may be attracted to someone else. They may engage in a behavior that just, you know, they're thinking about that person over and over. But the other partner needs to be okay with hearing that and not trying to muzzle your partner and not trying to tell them you shouldn't feel that way, but really trying to work it through. Yeah. It's not the end of your relationship. It just means that there's something you need to work through. Right, okay.